Tuesday, September 24th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $126. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and Silver from friends of WeUseCoins.com and Sons of Liberty Mint.com. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the Sons of Liberty Mint. Four quarters to a troy ounce. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today at sonsoflibertymint.com. Michael Douglas won the Emmy for Lead Actor in Behind the Candelabra, a story written by Liberace's former lover, who's currently in prison. Douglas's oldest son, Cameron, has been incarcerated on drug charges since 2010 and has been in solitary confinement for the past two years. During his acceptance speech, Douglas got emotional when he publicly declared that he hoped, quote, they'll allow me to see my son soon. Backstage after his speech, Michael continued to slam the U.S. prison system to the media and stated that he was, quote, very disappointed in the system. Quote, my son is in federal prison. He's been a drug addict for a large part of his life. Part of the punishments, if you happen to have a slip, and this is for a prisoner who's nonviolent, as about half a million of our drug-addicted prisoners are, he's spent almost two years in solitary confinement. Right now, I've been told that I can't see him for two years, and I'm questioning the system. Obviously, at first, I was certainly disappointed in my son, but I've reached a point now where I'm very disappointed with the system. My last comment on that is that the U.S. U.S. represents 5% of the world's population, and we have 25% of the world's prisoners. Cameron Douglas is scheduled to be released in 2018. In June, he penned a drug policy essay from jail for the Huffington Post. This story is brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. Have you been boycotting Arizona-based goods and services? Many have, and it's costing the state's businesses millions. The reason? In an effort to crack down on illegal immigration, politicians in Arizona have given the police there the authority to ask anyone for proof of citizenship. This papers please reaction to immigration stinks of Nazism, and people planning to vacation in Arizona have changed their plans for fear of being harassed. Businesses have lost lucrative contracts and conventions have relocated. Performers called off concerts and cities and counties in about a dozen states passed resolutions to avoid doing business with Arizona. They argue that regardless of how one feels about immigration, the solution is not to turn Arizona into a prison. A report released Thursday says the boycott has cost the state over $140 million in lost meeting and convention business. The study also found that canceled meetings and conferences could cost the state nearly 2,800 jobs, $87 million in lost wages, and more than 200 and $50 million in lost economic output over the next three years. Looking to join the boycott? U.S. Airways, U-Haul, and of course Arizona Ice Tea are all based in Arizona and are easy to boycott in favor of a competitor. However, critics argue that the boycott doesn't help but hurts the Hispanic community in Arizona. CEO Joe Stegmeyer lost a bid for a California building contract, even though he was the lowest bid, because his company is based in Arizona. He said the homes would have been built at a plant near Phoenix, which would have led to more work for the primarily Hispanic workforce there. In other news, New Hampshire Liberty activist Andre Rosa has a trial November 4th to answer to the crime of driving without state permission. Please attend to show your support. Are you thinking of picking up the new iPhone? Apple says the new fingerprint ID is impenetrable. Wrong. Within four days of the release of the new phone, the biometrics hacking team of the Chaos Computer Club has successfully bypassed the biometric security of Apple's Touch ID using easy, everyday means. A fingerprint of the phone user, photographed from a glass surface, was enough to create a fake finger that could unlock an iPhone 5S. Skeptics argue that the purpose of the biometrics were never intended for security, but for surveillance. What do you think? The Department of Homeland Security is testing their new facial recognition software at a junior ice hockey game this weekend. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and SonsOfLibertyMint.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.